Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I am back from the vacation, and we are ready for the true faded hour. It is time for the Black Omen, and we are gonna get our party situated here. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna try and learn as many texts as we can here. Which, conveniently, there isn't a whole lot left to learn. Uh, for sure I want Robo in there, because he has the furthest to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do Robo, Marl, and... Magus, since they're kind of the farthest. Mostly, and I also just want to get Morrow finished up. There we go. Look at this wacky party comp. Uh, God, see, the thing about the Aussie pants, God, I, I love their randomness, but it because it's the highest defense value, it always goes to the top. And it's like, oh, you want those pants, don't you? Oh, they're so good! <laughs> but they're really not. They're, they're terrible. They're awful. Uh, I guess you were gonna grab that stud. And... Robo, the speed belt... Eh, you know what? You're going max ham. Get the prism specs out. Probably a terrible decision. You probably need the speed more than anything. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go ham. Uh, other than that, I think we're ready to go. Oh, to the epoch. So yeah, I got back from my vacation. Uh, first time I was ever in California. Crazy place. I don't think I would ever live there, but it was a fun place to visit. Got to go to this super sick arcade. I played so many games with my brother. Oh, I like that determined face from Marl. Let's go. Uh, I got to play, like, two Metal Slugs. I got to play Sunset Riders in the arcade, which was so cool. The awesome as hell, uh, Alien vs. Predator, beat em up it's So many great games. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Now, the thing about the Black Omen is, it's in a lot of different time periods, but you can't enter it in every single one. For example, I think it should be hanging around in the future. But they will tease us. Yes. So, the world's already blown up. Let's, let's stop them here. Shut tight. Actually, did I already do this and I've forgotten? I probably have. To the epoch! Wow, did you guys see that jump animation from Magus? It's, not, it's like he's not even falling. It's just like, uh... I just don't know about this face. Like, uh... Ah, oh, this game is amazing. So yeah, there's only three different time periods I think you can enter from. The present should get us into where we need to go. Um, but there's a few different times. It doesn't matter which time period you enter in, but I believe, for example, if we're going to do it in the present, I think we could still go back in time and do it in one of the prior eras, if we so desire. Let's do this. It's Zeal. She's like... How, how old is she now? She's like over 12,000 years old. Or is it, is it more than that? She's like 13,000 years old now, I think. Bastard. <laughs> I know this precise date in 999 years. Realistically, we probably want to stop him in one of the prior areas so he doesn't eat as much of the planet, but hey, we're crazy like that. Or we'll show you. That doesn't look good. A sacrifice. This ain't Lavos, you can't confuse me with this crazy alien monster. It's just a mega mutant. Hit him with the black hole. I can't remember if that hurts or not. Oh no, it made Marl crazy. Oh wait, this is never gonna work against a boss. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, well that was just silly of me. The robot doesn't play nice with Magus, of course. Dark Mist! Yeah. 
Yeah, that does pretty decent damage. Funnily enough, I believe this is one of the few enemies that's like, you're gonna try and Luminar it, and it just, uh, it heals it instead, or at least one of the parts, I can't remember which. What's more ham? Is Dark Bomb more ham? Heal Beam. Wow, this guy's a lot of attacks. I do not remember this. Yeah, it's about the same. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, can we finally haste someone? Good. Get this broken Tex up in here. I guess will be our curb stomp in this crew, for sure. There we go. I really can't remember if there's anything in particular that happens if we kill the bottom before the top or vice versa. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I'll take the 50 tech points up, it's quite nice. Actually, really not all that great, but... Is there a rock I can give you guys to make you all happy with each other? Carl Luca Magus, Robo, no. I feel like I'm missing a rock. It's probably the one. Yeah, there's definitely at least four rocks. It's probably the one on. Uh... I forget the name. The mountain where they where the uh, little falcon guy is throwing a rock. You need to go back there with uh, Frog. Boy, it's been a while since we've seen these guys. Pallet swap from downtown! I hope we still remember how to kill the Peeping Doom! Actually, they're two different enemies. You gotta wait, obviously. It, it, unless you forgot from, like, hour or two of the game. Just wait till they open their eyes. Now, this place in particular has a ridiculous amount of things. Uh, if you bring Isla in here and you start charming stuff, it gets blocked. You're getting tabs everywhere. Um, I cannot remember if it is these guys in particular that drop speed tabs. Oops, that's not gonna cool. Now we're looking like a fool. Uh, there is enemies in here that drop speed tabs. Now, they are limited because once you kill them, they don't come back. But if you do the all the Black Omen runs of like present, then next one, next one, you'll have like everyone's speed maxed by the end of the game, and it's absurd. Uh, we won't be doing that because it really just chases the game to extraordinarily extraordinary levels um, and makes it just way too easy. Not to mention soon there'll be enemies uh, that will be that you could charm mega elixirs from, and then it's like why even care? Just keep throwing those down. <laughs> Damage enemy with Melt Beam. Uh, these guys, I think you can get power tabs off of. If you just really want to start breaking everything. Oh my god, you don't really have many, uh... I guess you have a couple double tanks with, uh, Robo. Poor guy's just so slow, he never gets their time. Oh, come on. You're gonna make Mega sad. Oh, Robo. Oh, Robo. Hear ye, hear ye. And then he threw Mega Man Boomerang cutters at us. I probably should've healed. Oh well. You'll live, right, Robo? You better! Heal beam! Yeah. I think I'm alright with this. This just halves, right? Yeah. You're alright. You're alright! These guys are a pain to kill right now. 
So we do not have the attack swing with Robo. Oh wait, we can show off Uzi Punch. If he doesn't go crazy. Oh, Marl's going crazy. The Goon Squad. Finally, an enemy called Goon, so it makes sense when I say that. Give him the multi-punch. This one is... Really not one of my favorite tech enemies. Wow, that does way more damage than I thought, though, with those prism specs. Holy crap. If only Cr Chrono was here. He would crit everything. Take back the, uh, what I said about Uzi Punch. That's ham. Paltry amount of tech points for that trouble. Give him the tonics! No, I'm just kidding. That would, that would take forever. There's my save point. No! Battle bots! My god, I forgot how many status effects they're gonna try and throw at me here. I was gonna say, it seemed weird that it was still letting me input commands for Marl, because she definitely got hit by the stop. Eh, laser spin, I guess. So as you can tell, this is quick, this is like the this is the baddest of the bad enemies. Uh, the pretty good, obviously final dungeon dungeon-ish. No, not three seconds to disco. Aha, you fools! You fell for the disco trap. Ha! That's the fi that's Marl's final tech, so she can come out. We'll get some meat in here with Isla. Ah, these are the guys you can get speed tabs from. And once you kill them, they do not come back. We will not be taking this speed tabs. Even though the even though the cursor is like, no, charm, right? I was like, no. It's a little bit too cheesy. Too cheesy. Ow. Damn walls. Punched the shit out of that wall so hard it didn't even change. Beast toss. Should make sure that you have the latest armor technology. You don't need that anymore. In fact, what you need is these specs of awesome. What you should get is actually the flea vest, because your magic defense is really... Actually, no, it's Isla's magic defense that's pathetic. We're just gonna give you speed again, because honestly, it's never a bad idea. There we go. To the max! Robo's still so far behind, but he's getting there. I don't know if he'll make it by the end of Black Omen, to be honest. In fact, I'm pretty sure he won't. There we go. 
Now they can't do the combo attack. Look at that, nearly doubled her regular attack damage. Wait, is there a... I can't remember if they had a chest behind one of these little things. Maybe not. Maybe not, I'm just crazy. I'm crazy! <gasps> Palette swap of the... Sun God! Good thing we brought Ilo. I can't remember how this works, actually. We're just gonna kill the little guys first? Ow! You have, to, you have to do ham enough damage before uh, time runs out here, or you will die, because I don't think I can use items either. It's items and text that you can't use. Oh boy. Now I'm really glad we have Isla level. Okay, I should probably stop killing the little guy. There we go. Now that's the tech points I'm looking for! Oh man! Oh, that was delicious. Well, that boosted you along nicely. And another one, you say? I'll take another 200 tech points, please. Please don't be like this. God dang it! Must go faster. I gotta kill all of them because I think the little guys run away if you don't kill them right away. Crap! I thought that other one was gonna die there. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, we might game over here. We might game over here. This could be a photo finish. Bye, Robo. Oh, no. Bye, Isla? No! Oh, you gotta do it yourself, Magus. Yeah! All the tech points for you, baby. Not Robo, who really needs them. Ah. Well, that's that's a spirit breaker. Can we get those guys to come back? I would love to get one more round of tech points off, if possible. Nice. Oh yeah, we'll get we're gonna get Robo up there because I wanna I wanna try and showcase you guys as many techs as possible. If Robo could please stop missing. Oh my god, everyone, come on. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. There we go. Isn't gonna get any of it again. Ro isn't gonna get no, my. No one might get any. Ugh. Okay. Kill boss man. You jerks! I was gonna kill you. Vegas is loving this. I mean, he's like, I have all the magic defense in the world. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Okay, I think that's a fire attack. So we're gonna be like, boom. 
What are you gonna do about it now? We'll see, we'll see how they enjoy that. Now do we laugh at this attack? Yes, we do. There we go, now we're going to town on these fools. Okay, don't you run away or I'll be angry. Ah, I laugh at your attacks now. Dark Matter! That's his final attack. Okay, we're gonna briefly take him out just for Chrono, because he's. Chrono's gonna curb stop, help us curb stop these guys. Oh uh, yeah, this is oh uh, this is this is the dream, guys. We're not gonna like grind it out a hundred percent, uh, cause there is still quite a bit of this place left, but we're gonna get a little bit of the ways in here for Robo. Cause this is just a really good place to do it. Look at this absurd attachment. On the rare time he does not crit. Chrono, show him what gives. There we go. Ow. Actually, Chrono's the only one saying ow. Damn you, Miss Chance! Ooh! We're gonna do triple tech here as well. Right, once more. This will be the this will be the last round we do, I swear. Uh whoop, there we go. Okay. Damn you, Chrono. If, if Chrono doesn't crit, it's like, uh, you probably missed. No, don't hit him! No, ah, Everything's ruined! Quick, kill those two! Do it! No! They're gonna run now! Ah, no! Oh, son of a... Okay, good. At least we got 100. Wow, okay, I thought they ran away, like, instantly. I'm quite the fool. Area bomb. And shock is his final one. Okay, we're gonna stay with this party comp just so we can showcase that new triple tech. Wow, there's one more up here? Okay. And then we'll switch back to Magus to uh, showcase one of his, his last final tech thing. Stop him, he's like Sanic. There we go, that should finish him. Uh, 
All right, these will be the perfect enemies to showcase things on. First of all, we'll do Twister, because I really don't remember what this one looks like at all. The Trio Whirl. <gasps> Maximum Spin! Wow, they just got spun. Purple's gonna need nether. Or three. Okay. Robo. Actually, there's also Beast Toss here. Boogie! I don't even remember that! Have we done that? I don't think we've done a barnyard buggy. Discos! They didn't even know what to do! I'm not gonna live in there quite yet. Ah, please stop stealing my MP. Give him the beast toss. Okay, is that. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need you two to stop doing that. Combo hot potato. Wow, that is really big damage. Holy crap. It's incredible. No, he needs MP to do his tech. Ah, this is, a, this is like a eyeless thing. It's just centered around him. Wow. Unimpressive! Alright, Chrono, just show them how it's done. After everyone loses all their MP. My god. Oh, wait, Isla hasn't done triple kick yet. It's a pretty good one. It's technically, uh, technically the most damaging physical attack in the game. It actually beats out Confuse, somehow. It's just basically like three physical attacks in a row at like 1.5 times damage, I think. Okay. Let's bring Magus back in, shall we? In fact, now that Isla's good to go, let's uh, let's do one of the rock combos. Uh, I know one had one involved. It's Robo Frog Isla. Uh, okay, we'll put Luca in here. It's been a while since, since she's seen action anyway. She's great. So you can go back to this stuff. Um, and Robo's gonna need some MP for this. Boom. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot the important thing, you know, the rock that's gonna let us use it. Crap, which rock is it? Dark Eternal. I probably could have just guessed from the name. Of course, this is the one that involves Magus. All dark. We are officially back in the Undersea Palace. Oh no, this is interesting. Oh, I hope Robo has the tech he needs to do this. That'd be super unfortunate if he didn't. Uh, we are about to go on a wild ride. Eh, we're probably fine. Ah, I can step in thin air! Wait, I totally thought I was going to get assaulted by enemies there. Okay, fine. You win game. 
more of these guys. They really want you to, uh, to get all your techs. I mean, come on, let's, let's get all our techs. Uh, but it just take up all those males. God damn it. And I don't have anyone that's beefy in physical attacks now. This is a disaster of epic proportions. Let's kill the big guy first. So no one dies. Oh god, random damage. I swear to god, sometimes it's big damage though. I don't care what anyone says, I really like that weapon. <laughs> I'm all about that random chance life. You bastard. Ah, what was that? Double blow? Or was that the triple tech? Did I get the triple tech? Dark Eternal, I got it. Wait a second. I thought it was Robo. So now that I got... Really? Do I not have to have all of them in my party? Apparently I got it. All right. So the cool thing about the rocks that I think a lot of people don't realize, it seems like it's a pain in the ass, but I think you keep them once you get them once. No, you don't. Never mind. Ha ah, ha ha. I'm a fool. Uh, I think it was this one that I just got. Yeah, that would absolutely be it. Um, so was that rock? Seriously? Oh, yeah, I was... Totally off the mark there. Uh, which one is... Oh no, this is just a disaster. Fine, to the dash room you go. Also, we're gonna get Luke out of there in case there's more of those guys and we need to beat him up. Kiss, everyone! You know what, I haven't been, I cannot for the life of me remember where the gold stud is at. I feel like it's in here somewhere. But I have not found that yet. It's even more ham than the silver stud. There we go, now this is going much better. So there's still a lot of cool double and triple techs at this point of the game, but some of you might have noticed that a lot of them really start to lose their luster around this point of the game once everyone starts getting their ultimate single techs. Because it's usually... It's usually gives you better options and damage to just use everyone's ultimate tech rather than trying to combine everyone together. Um, which I think is one of the weaker aspects of the system. It, it doesn't make it the whole way through the game. Some of them are still great, like we saw Beast Toss, and that was ridiculous, but... Uh, yeah, so a lot of them are just, like, not as ham as I feel they should be. You gonna throw one more at me? There's usually one more. Oh. Mega Elixir! I can charm those for days if I really wanted to. That's nothing special. All right, Dark Matter, the ultimate in edgy technology. Yes! Triangles.
Wow, a lot of money. Unfortunately, money's pretty worthless at this point in the game. Has been for a long time. Oh no, I have activated the snake alarm. Now these guys, mega elixirs for days if you want to charm them. Funny thing is they'll actually kill each other. I didn't let them do it actually. They'll be more up ahead. They will kill each other if you let them. Why, I don't know. Oh, you gotta be getting close now, Robo. I wasn't sure if there was treasure. Oh, not these guys. Ugh, the worst. Yeah, go Robo. Damn it. Boy, your uh, insolence of not killing one one hits you okay with MP. I think they want me to get all the tax. There we go. I think this battle should do it for Robo, actually. I feel like he's close enough. Wow, not a single miss. All right, much better. Here we go! All the techs. There's a treasure chest over there. I feel like one of these is gonna be the gold stuff. Damn it, did you just spawn a turret in? I know how to deal with that. Well, the triangles, but also one other thing. The shock. This is actually one of the weakest, uh, I'd say one of the weakest, uh, final techs. It's really not all that ham. It's, it's like Luminaire, but electricity based, and it just doesn't seem to scale very well compared to others. Treasure chest. Now, Magus. Magus is a machine. Uh, his dark matter is absolutely ridiculous at damage. It's actually, unless you've been pumping magic taps into Chrono, it's generally better than Luminaire, actually. <laughs> Although, I mean, in, in, if you were to just like, like stat for stat, Luminaire I think scales better, but. Megas just has such ridiculously high magic that it's ridiculous. Uh, ooh, now that's a nice item. Five magic plus five magic defense. You can get Isla that magic she's always dreamed about. For all of those zero spells she has. Elixir Goldstone? Vigil hat. It's kind of nice. Actually, it's very nice. What does Tab and Helm do again? I really like that magic defense. She's practically start out on magic defense. I could start if I want. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that, actually. Ah, save point. Nova armor, that's ridiculously good. Mega elixir. Oh, 
Only for the guys, though. Wow, also protect- See, this is where it's like, oh, you're throwing status effects at me. Good thing I got all these items that, you know, protect against all the status effects. Gloom cape. I like how it's like, gloom, gloom, and doom. This is ultimate swag. It's like, okay, that's kind of more ham, I guess. You can drop that and give it to someone else who needs it. Prism dress. There you go, now you're protected against status effects. I guess Chrono's technically not protected, but come on. It's powerful enough. You don't need to be protected, Robo. You never go crazy anyway. Alright. We got some news. A haste helm! Whoa, I forgot this was a thing. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Um, did I seriously never... Man, I completely forgot about this thing. Look at this nonsense. The items you get at this point in the game are just absurd. Infinite haste for Chrono at all times. Watch him shred everything. Insta given every like he's running a world class track meet. And he's like, oh, you can't stop him. He's running too fast. All right, we're gonna stop it here for today. Um, but when we come back, we are gonna proceed deeper into the Black Omen. Uh, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. We're at the point now. Any, any, I mean, we got all the text. Whatever comp you guys want. We go with at this point because we kind of kind of showcased a little bit of everything, um, and so yeah. Who do you guys want to see as we get basically to the end of the game? Who should the final party comp be? Anything goes. Till then, thank you guys so much for watching. Later, everyone. <laughs>